Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode from NetworkFromHome.com. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about routers. I have a router here in front of me. In particular, we're going to be talking about how to set up your router. We're going to pretend that we just pulled this router out of the box. It has a few different components that come with it, which we will get to. But I want to explain how you set up your router so that it can start functioning and providing your devices with wireless connections to the internet. Okay, so let's take it from the top. We just pulled our router out of the box. There's another piece here that we need to have in place. This is a standalone router. So we need a modem as well. So assuming you have a modem, your modem is going to be providing your router with the internet access that it passes to your devices. Your devices can't get access to the internet unless your router has access to the internet. Thankfully, this is an easy step to follow. You have your router, or I'm, I'm sorry, you have your modem here. In the back, there's a cable, and this cable, it's a coaxial cable. It connects to a jack in the wall. This is if you have cable internet. Most people do at this time. So we're going to just pretend that you have cable internet. Regardless of the type of internet you have, setting up your router, the steps are the same. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do, if we want to provide your router here with access to the internet, we need to connect it to your modem. Your modem will have an active internet plan, assuming you have one set up. And in order to transfer that internet access and provide it to your devices, your modem does that through your router, as I mentioned. So how do we connect them? This is actually pretty easy. You do it with a handy dandy ethernet cable. This is a pretty straightforward process. I'll show you what it looks like on my modem and router. Yours will likely be the same. So let's, let's give you a close up here of what the side or the, I'm sorry, the back of your modem looks like. See right here how it says ethernet. It's pretty straightforward. It says ethernet. You already have your cable connection. There is nothing else that you could possibly plug anything into. Let's see if we can get that set down so we can get a clear picture. Okay. So all we want to do is plug one end of the ethernet cable into the modem. Okay, so now we're connected to the modem. What's the next step? Let's take a look at the back of your router. Okay, this is an ethernet port. These are ethernet ports. Does one of these ports look different than the others? Yes. And let me get my glasses here so I can read everything. But right in here, if you can see it, let's see if we can get close enough. There you can see it right there. It says internet. This is where we're going to be plugging the other end of our ethernet cable. You're plugging, the other end is plugged into your modem. Let's plug the rest of it, or the other end of it, I should say, into your router. Okay, so now you have your modem and you have your router connected together. The only other thing you have to do to set up a router, it will come with a power cord. So this is pretty straightforward as well. You'll see on, let's see if I can just hold it up for you. Right here, there's a little part where you can connect your power cord. So that just goes, oops, 
right into place here. It's connected. You plug this into an electrical outlet and your router will boot up. If you give it about, I don't know, maybe five minutes, you'll see all of the lights will flash. They'll turn on, they'll turn off, they'll turn orange, they'll turn green. But when everything reaches a steady state and all the lights look green, you'll be able to access a wireless internet connection through your router. So there's one important piece here is what network do you connect to? Assuming this router came right out of the box, I'll show you, it's pretty straightforward here. Okay, here you go. So here where it says SSID, this will be the wireless, there are two wireless networks that this router will distribute when it's first set up and connected. You can connect to either of these networks. And the password to connect to those networks is right here. So it makes it pretty easy for you on the sticker on the router itself. Okay, what else is important? So once you log into your router, you, I'm sorry, once you connect to your internet connection through one of these two wireless networks here, you can then go in and access your router to make any changes that you want to. So, and what do we want to do? We want to open up an internet browser. We want to type in this default access location. And that will take us to the login page for our router. From there, you'll be able to log in with the default username and password, which you will find in the documentation for your device. It's very often admin is the username, admin is the password. Okay, so once you're logged into your router settings, you have the opportunity, and I strongly suggest, you change your administrator password. That will be the password that you use to log into the router and make changes to the settings. With a default password like that, it's very insecure, so I suggest you change that. You can change the names of your wireless networks. You can change the passwords of your wireless networks. And you can make any other changes to the router settings that you want. But this is pretty much all you have to do. In quick summary, you connect your modem to your router with an ethernet cable. You connect the router to an electrical outlet so that it gets power. And the router will pretty much do the rest from there. I hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, please drop a comment below and I'll be happy to try to help you out. So thank you for tuning in to this episode from networkfromhome.com. We'll catch you on the next one.